guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be a Scent Safari episode, and today we're taking a look out look at a brand called Libertine Fragrances out of Canada. Now, Scent Safari is, for those of you who still don't know, just a sort of first impression on some fragrances. You know, I'll reach out to a brand, ask for some samples. Uh, if I get them, I'll pick four of them out and sort of give you guys a first impression uh, on camera, let you guys know, you know, if the house might be something you want to look at. You might want to pick up samples if there's a fragrance I think that's particularly strong in the four that I sample. So I reached out to uh, this house and was able to learn a little bit about it as well. Josh Smith started this house. He's actually a forester turned designer. And midway through his design degree, he got really into perfume. And he decided to create Libertine as a response to sort of the overly commercial world of big name perfume. So like this was meant to be a brand with like no celebrity endorsement, no gender stereotyping, just good materials, good design and good fragrances. So basically he launched with five cents in a bunch of stores in Canada. In the US, you can order these from his website or from the site New Classic. I'm gonna link to his site in my description. If you're interested in obtaining this sample kit, uh, and I recommend it highly. Uh, you see, these are the way the samples come. Uh, nice little labeled vials and a nice little bag as well that says Libertine Fragrance. Really, really nice packaging. If you're interested in getting that, uh, it's available for 25 US dollars. And I'd say there's about seven ml uh, of each scent, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Now, besides the five fragrances that he launched with, we're gonna talk about four of them. Uh, today, he also offers a body or linen spray made with white musk, Palo Santo wood, citrus, and licorice for $32 as well. And you guys know I'm a big licorice fan, so that might be something I need to check out. Uh, each fragrance is available a few different ways. You can get a 1 ml sample for six bucks, which I guess those are, uh, a 10 ml roll on for $48, or a 15 ml of EDP for $75. First one we're gonna look at is called Sex and Jasmine. And this one features notes of Jasmine, Sambak Absolute from India, Neroli Absolute from Egypt, Vanilla Bourbon Extract from India, Aged Patchouli Essence from India, Hawaiian Sandalwood, and a Vegan Amber Green. Now you guys know that Jasmine is not my favorite note of all time. I actually don't have many Jasmine fragrances in my collection. I do like this one though. I like the way the Neroli plays into this one, almost giving it like a barbershop cleanliness. I think a guy or a woman could pull this one off. Uh, it's a good scent for jasmine lovers. I just don't happen to be a jasmine lover, but for a jasmine scent, I think this one's pretty good. Also, jas jasmine for me can sometimes be super animalic, and this one doesn't have that. It's more clean and floral. The indolic quality really isn't there, and I prefer that. Uh, I prefer not having it there. Actually, as it dries down, it gets a lot softer, and the jasmine really opens up and it becomes super floral and clean. And I think this is a, one of the, maybe only one in the that I've smelled from these five. Uh, actually, I smelled all of them, but the only one that I think might be better suited a little bit for a woman, but a man could definitely wear this and it could easily pass off as like a clean barbershop fragrance. The next one we're gonna talk about is called Soft Woods. And this one features balsam fir from Canada, Indian black pepper, Hungarian juniper berry, Rose de Mai Absolute from Egypt, Vanilla Bourbon Extract, and Musk. Now I get a big hit of that balsam here. That's the first thing that hits me. Um, it's really, even though it punches, it's not a loud note. If that makes sense, it's 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 uh, it's soft, which I like. You know, like I think of like Fi and Agui by Serge Luton. Sometimes that can be a little overwhelming. Uh, I also get some nice pepper in this one. Vanilla is here is a grounding note. I think all these vanilla sort of provides base note in, in most of these. Uh, so this is a sweet, spicy, and woody fragrance. There's a mintiness for me that comes through somewhere. I really like this one. It's different. It's a softer, woody scent, but it's not as woody as you might expect based off the name. It's sort of, for me, more green than woody, um, but it's very nice and very original. The next one, is going to be called Sweetgrass. And Sweetgrass has notes of fresh cut hay, ambrette seed, tobacco absolute from the US, mimosa flower absolute from Egypt, rosemary from Morocco, cardamom from Sri Lanka, 
Atlas Cedarwood from the U.S., Vanilla Bourbon Extract, and Tonka Bean. And guys, wow, I love this scent. This would probably be the one that I'd pick up a bottle of and, and try to get a full review on at some point because Josh, for me, hit the ball out of the park uh, on this one, and the, the bases were loaded. The combo of Ambrette which to me is actually the most dominant note here uh, and takes on a very green characteristic with the floral quality of the mimosa and the wooden tonka gives you this green gourmand that is just out of this universe. It's refreshing, but it's substantial. It's it's weighty and it's heady. Uh, it's totally unique. It's an ingenious blend. I'm shocked nothing. I've never smelled anything like this. You guys know I'm a green scent fiend. Um... You know, this is a scent that has made me do double takes after double take all day and just marvel at it. If you like green scents, but you're not into what's super galbanum, I feel like green scents are usually either three things, galbanum, minty, or patchouli. Like those are the three things. This is not, this is neither, no, neither. This is none of those. Uh, this is just totally unique take on green and it's amazing. Uh, it's just beautiful, signature scent worthy and could rock in all four seasons although for me i'd see this as a spring and fall uh fragrance but certainly in the summer you could rock this one out as well it's just not as transparent as a scent uh with grass in the name you might think but super good the last one we're going to talk about is called witch doctor and witch doctor features wormwood from india texas cedarwood organic alang alang from madagascar birch tar from india Vanilla bourbon extract, aged patchouli essence, benzoin absolute, and rock rose absolute. Um, this is another for me green green scent, but not a grassy scent. This one you get that wormwood uh, that dominates here, so it's like an anise uh, green, and uh, that's mainly what I get. I, I, I get gallon amount of this one, uh, even though I don't think it's listed. Maybe I get that from the wormwood. Uh, but I definitely also get woods as well. And then there's a nice touch of smokiness, which which I would attribute to, uh, to to the birch tar, possibly the benzoin, but, but probably the birch tar. Birch tar, birch tar for me is usually more smoky and benzoin is sort of uh, sweeter and, and resinous. This is my second favorite behind Sweetgrass, but I'm, I'm a green fiend and uh and josh clearly does green well so uh impressive so um as you guys can tell i really like these i think these are great i think the price is great i like the ethos i dig like uh just the packaging and and, and what the scents are saying to me and i like the quality of the materials used. you know josh is letting you know where he's sourced from um i just think the price is right uh, I think they're all unique. I think they're all well done, but uh, goddamn, guys, sweet grass, good shit. Uh, so I am going to link to Libertine in the description. Check them out. Pick up a sample pack. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any from this line, which one you're most interested in. And I'll see you later this week with more videos. Guys, you already know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I must know. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.